morning everyone and welcome to Seize the Mains by Raj Malhotra's IS Academy. I'm Surbhi Sardana and this is season 3 of our daily answer writing initiative. This initiative is directly linked to our website. So the answer discussion takes place here at 9pm from Monday to Saturday. And uh, what you can do is at your homes, libraries or workplaces, you can write your own answer, practice it for practice answer writing for mains with us, write your own answer and post it on the website that is, that is rajisacademy.com. The entire list of questions uh, of Seize the Mains has been updated on the website. So click on that question, post your answer in the comment section and get it evaluated by our team entirely free of cost. Also the topic for today is electric vehicles. So we'll be uh, taking a question with regards to electric vehicles. If you want a complete understanding of the topic, refer to our weekly current affairs subject wise discussion that, take, uh, that takes place one, bef uh, one day before Seize the mains is actually aired. So uh, the question with regards to electric vehicles is what are the various types of electric vehicles? Highlight the steps taken by the government to promote electric vehicles in India. This question will form a part of GS3, uh, uh, your syllabus with regards to science and technology or indigenization of science and technology. So this question has two parts to it. The first one is what are the various types of electric vehicles? Yesterday in 2.30 pm geography, science and technology current affairs discussion, we discussed in detail that what are the types of electric vehicles prevalent in India. Since um, this is a, a you know generalist paper, uh, the civil services examination is a paper for making you a generalist. So you do not need specialist knowledge in this regard. There are types and subtypes of uh, electric vehicles, but the sub uh, subtypes do not have to be studied that much in detail. So only just mentioning what are hybrid vehicles or you know fully. Uh, fully plug in hybrid vehicles so, uh, that would be enough and highlight the steps taken by the government to promote electric vehicles in India. The government especially for the past one decade for the past 10 years has been putting a lot of efforts to promote electric vehicles in India to ease the shift from fuel based vehicles or you know petrol or diesel based vehicles to electric vehicles whether it is about manufacturing or is it about adoption. So we will be talking about those initiatives but, but first of all in the introduction, we'll be briefly explaining what electric vehicles are. So let's begin with our first part of the answer that is the introduction. So an electric vehicle is a vehicle that uses one or more electric motors for propulsion. It can be powered by a collector system with electricity from extra vehicle sources or it, it can be powered autonomously by a battery. Sometimes that can be charged by a solar panel, chemical cell or anything like that. See this is a very technical definition of electric vehicle. What you can choose to do is write the significance, importance kya hai electric vehicles ki, aap usko introduction ka part bana sakte hai and out of that you can frame like two, three lines for your introduction if you are not somebody from science background or you do not relate to this type of introduction. So keep your introduction simple but important, relevant from the perspective of the answer that we are discussing. Now there is a linkage point, linkage point is basically the last line of your introduction which introduces the body paragraph, jo part aap question ka address karne ja rahe hai. for example aap first part address karne ja rahe So what are the various types of electric vehicles? So you don't have to directly write down what are, what are the types, just respect the flow of English language and write down a small linkage point that the following are the types of, types of most prevalent electric vehicles. See, uh, Electric vehicles are ho sakte hai, but by writing that these are the most prevalent electric vehicles, you make it clear to the examiner that you will be discussing them broadly or ab zyada detail mein nahi jayenge. So types of electric vehicles, first one is the battery, uh, battery electric vehicle that is fully charged by a battery. Ek battery hoti hai, uh, usse, uh, usse vehicle ko energy milti hai and jab battery discharge ho jati hai to aap usko plug in karke charge karte hai. So battery electric vehicle fully powered by electricity and these are more efficient compared to hybrid and plug in hybrids. The second one is the hybrid electric vehicle. So hybrid electric vehicles have this fuel tank also, they run on petrol diesel also and on the other hand they have a battery also. How this battery is charged in a hybrid electric vehicle depending on that the difference comes under hybrid electric vehicle. If the battery 
that is given it is charged by the uh, fuel that you are providing by the petrol and diesel only then it is hybrid electric vehicle if the battery is charged by plug-in electricity sources then it is known as plug-in hybrid electric vehicles PHEV. The next one is the fuel cell electric vehicles or FCEV. Fuel cells uh, electric vehicles basically in ka jo charging uh, ka tarika hota hai wo chemical cell pe based hota hai whether you know for example this hydrogen fuel cells have been in news recently so the third one is fuel cell electric vehicles now this finishes this ends up your first part of the answer the first part of answer is complete before moving on to the second part that what are the initiatives taken by the government so we highly recommend that whenever initiatives uh, are asked in the question, जब भी आपसे initiatives पूछा जाता है, point format में लिखिए, whether these are two initiatives, three initiatives or ten initiatives, it becomes easier for the examiner to understand and club similar kind of initiatives together. For example, अगर हमने electric vehicles के ऐसे initiatives बताने हैं, जो कि manufacturing को support कर रहे हैं, so manufacturing should be clubbed in the beginning for example the fame scheme the production linked incentive scheme and uske baad ap adoption linked initiatives ko list down kar sakte hain so indian government has been putting many efforts to ease the shift from fuel vehicles to electric vehicles and initiatives with regards to manufacturing production and adoption have been on the rise and they have been discussed below the first would be your fame scheme or faster adoption of electric or hybrid electric vehicles just note down that hybrid vehicles are also part of this uh, this scheme and hybrid vehicles are more promoted because it is easier to move from fully fuel uh, fuel charged vehicles to hybrid vehicles in the first stage so fame had like fame had stage one and fame had part two or stage two to pehle ek deadline thi usko extend karke uh, second deadline lai gai hai and second deadline ko 2024 tak extend kar diya gaya so our target for this particular scheme has been extended till 2024 and under the scheme manufacturers and infrastructure providers of electric vehicles receive incentives through subsidies jo bhi electric vehicles manufacture karte hain ya banate hain unko subsidies di jati hain so this is manufacturing linked initiative launched by the government the next one is the production linked uh, incentive scheme for manufacturers in the automobile or automotive components and advanced chemistry cell battery sector to develop indigenous supply chains jo india mein based supply chains hain unko develop karne ke liye hai production linked incentive jitna production hoga us hisab se incentive milega so this is the second one the third one is the consu uh, consumer centric incentives for example kuch subsidy de di jin logo ko jo log electric vehicles produce uh, consume kar rahe hain ya use kar rahe hain for example tax uh, tax exemptions states will be waiving road tax on electric vehicles so if you are entering from one state to another state that also will receive a lot of exemptions jo ki aapko toll dena padta hai secondly road tax jo lagta hai that will also see a lot of exemptions so operating electric vehicles it is very expensive to buy electric vehicles in the first place and charging infrastructure itni uh, itne widely abhi available nahi hai all over india so to bring down that cost taxes pay or uh, taxes pay rebate diya ja raha hai and subsidies zyada se zyada di ja rahe hain so subsidies and interest subvention schemes intended to trigger a mass demand, uh, demand for electric vehicles the third one is battery manufacturing in giga factories now this is related to production giga factories will be launched jahan par jo battery manufacturing hai bahut hi large scale par hogi and recently the government announced the receipt of bids from 10 companies which will be availing the production linked incentive schemes for advanced chemistry cell batteries and they will be locally produced in giga factories giga factories are like very big factories giga indicates a very big number which signifies end to end battery manufacturing and large scale production so this will be happening the fifth one is guidelines for charging infrastructure see charging stations ki problem hai the land is not available also there are the electricity that we receive in our houses is subsidized electricity to wo aapki domestic consumption ke liye hoti hai jo industries hain unke electricity ke rates alag hote hain and for for this infrastructure for uh, charging electric vehicles also the electricity rates might differ so to ease these guidelines to ease the electricity consumption and charging infrastructure new guidelines have come up and the 
government has also revised its guidelines for charging infrastructure which includes revenue sharing model for use of public land and also privatized uh, प्राइवेटाइज चार्जिंग सॉकेट्स या चार्जिंग एरियाज डेवलप किए जा सकते हैं एंड एट होम एट रेजिडेंस प्लेसेज दीज इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स कैन नाउ बी चार्ज द सिक्स पॉइंट इज दैट जी एस टी ऑन इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स हैज बीन ब्रॉड डाउन सो दिस वॉज यू नो अर्लियर देवर कंसिडर्ड अ यू नो देवर कंसिडर्ड अंडर द हायर हायर स्लैब अंडर जी एस टी बट वो स्लैब उनका रिड्यूस कर दिया गया है ताकि अडोप्शन रेट बढ़ सके सो इट हैज बीन रिड्यूस फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व परसेंट टू फाइव परसेंट जी एस टी ऑन इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स पाँच परसेंट ही जी एस टी लगेगा इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स पर एंड फॉर चार्जर्स या चार्जिंग स्टेशन और चार्जिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फॉर इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स जी एस टी हैज बिन रिड्यूस फ्राम एटीन परसेंट टू फाइव परसेंट सो वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू इस्टेब्लिश अ चार्जिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एट योर होम और एट एन ऑफिस सो ओनली फाइव परसेंट जी एस टी हैज बीन पुट इन प्लेस फ्राम एटीन परसेंट द सेवेंथ वन इज दैट बैटरी ऑपरेटेड व्हीकल्स विल बी गिवन ग्रीन ग्रीन लाइसेंस प्लेट जो कि ग्रीन लाइसेंस प्लेट एंड दे विल बी एग्जेमटेड फ्रॉम परमिट रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ अ व्हीकल इज अ कमर्शियल व्हीकल तो उनको इफ कमर्शियल व्हीकल एंड इट हैज द परमिट टू ट्रेवल ऑल ओवर इंडिया सो दे रिक्वायर अ सेपरेट परमिट जो लोकली आपके ऑटो ड्राइवर्स या रिक्शा ड्राइवर्स ऑपरेट करते हैं उनको अलग परमिट चाहिए होता है दे कैन नॉट गो आउटसाइड द सिटी और स्टेट फॉर दैट मैटर टैक्सी ड्राइवर स्टेट के बाहर नहीं जा सकते सो दैट काइंड ऑफ परमिट इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड जैसा परमिट दिया जाता है द काइंड ऑफ परमिट दैट इज गिवन टू अ पर्टिकुलर व्हीकल दैट काइंड ऑफ फी इज लेवीड बट ऑन दिस इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स ऑन दिस इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स परमिट रिक्वायरमेंट्स विल बी एग्जेमटेड एंड दे विल बी गिवन अ ग्रीन कलर्ड लाइसेंस प्लेट और नंबर प्लेट सो दिस इज देयर टू promote the electric vehicles manufacturing production and adoption within the country now why are they important or uh, in a in the conclusion what you can write is either talk about challenges in just two lines in your concluding paragraph and then give a way forward in the next two lines aap char line ka conclusion likh sakte hain or what you can write is about the significance why are they important for example we are a country that is highly dependent on oil imports hamare paas apne reserves nahi hai petroleum reserves nahi hai oil reserves nahi hai so that adds to the fiscal deficit of india on an annual basis and that is increasing with time so to counter that these electric vehicles adoption and manufacturing these are very important so you can write that in the conclusion and this is the way to go ahead especially to decrease our dependence on fossil fuels because if we are heading towards if we want to turn into a nation that is less uh, that has lesser pollution and is more climate friendly wants to fight global uh, global warming and things like that hamare jo uh, paris accord ke according the climate uh, climate change ke uh, climate change pact ke according hamare kuch promises hain so to cover those also electric vehicles are important so you can write all these points in your concluding paragraph that mobility is the next frontier in india's fight against climate change because mobility affects everybody it is not something that you are using and the other person is not using mobility is important ek jagah se dusri jagah jana important hai so this mobility this should be targeted to fight climate change and electric vehicles can help achieve not just that but also help reduce the country's oil imports and preserve foreign exchange taking india to the next level of self reliance so the first level of self reliance that india aimed for was in the terms of food that is through green revolution the next one can be here through production through indigenous production manufacturing and faster adoption this uh, concluding statement this was a statement by uh, recently by one of the ministers and you can directly use it in your conclusion because this fits there or you can frame your own conclusion you can relate it with sustainable development goals or our commitments uh, according to the uh, paris climate change accord so um, this was your answer for today the entire answer has been updated on our website in fact our team is continuously responding back to the answers which have already been taken jo answers post ho chuke hain unke feedbacks ja chuke hain if you are somebody who has not written the answer just go through this answer go through the entire video once again ya website ka link aapko description mein mil jayega aap wahan par pura answer padhiye uske baad aap is topic ke bare mein sochiye and write your own answer try to write your own answer get it evaluated by us because if you write even one answer daily the kind of improvement that you will see in your writing capabilities and the feedback the kind of marks that you see improving that will be immense so join us on this journey 
subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet stay tuned i'll see you with another discussion tomorrow